hi guys um i'm back here again with you guys my name is joseph agk rg um and i'm going to keep you company this afternoon i hope you're enjoying your weekends um it's, it's really a, a very nice weekend warm and um it is also a good time to go outside please remember to wear, put on your mask when you go to public places okay i want all of you to be safe now today i'm going to introduce you to the what you call the mean variance and standard deviation of a probability distribution i'm sure you must have come across mean variance and standard deviation in your previous statistics classes but then you did it you did them what you did then was the mean uh, variance and then standard deviation of a frequency distribution now we are doing the same thing but we are doing it for the probability distribution okay so it requires a different uh, approach okay now um so for this uh we use this computational formulas the mean is sum of this symbol here represents the sum of okay it's a greek letter so the sum of x times the probability of x where x is the random variable of course you know that uh, from our previous lecture on this topic then the variance is uh, we use this symbol to represent variance it's data square for me we use mu so that means sum of x squared times px minus the mean squared then the standard deviation is always the square root of the variance now there are two ways of doing this things but i always like to uh, use shortcut methods because it helps my students or my students uh to understand the concept better the shortcut method there are also the longitudinal or horizontal method for doing all this but the shortcut method simplifies everything and like if you remember the promise i made when i started this lecture series that i will make the topics as simple as possible so let's begin look at this question here it says the probability the probability distribution for the personality inventory tests for passive aggressive threat is yeah, shown below. Actually, these are the result. Okay, uh, test score and their corresponding probabilities. So the for one is 0.16, that means 16% chance. Two is 0.22, which means 22% chance, and so on and so forth. It says find the mean score and find the variance and the standard deviation. Now, first of all, let us see if this is actually a probability distribution. Remember the requirement, one of the requirements is that they will add to one. So if you add all these numbers in your calculator, you get one. See? Let us try it. You can see our first one is 0 0.16. And let me open it. Uh, 0 0.16 plus uh, 0.22. Okay, 0.22. Okay, plus 0.28. Okay, uh, point Two eight plus point two zero point two zero okay plus point one four point one four plus okay um zero okay one four is the last last one so let me just put zero here so you gave me one say one just one that satisfies the requirement that it is actually a probability distribution now we can find the mean then find the variance and the standard deviation so because we'll be using the shortcut method i'm going to find all these things by using a by making a table of values as shown right here see see the, the same information they give us you can see that this is the one to five you can see it's right here one to five for the x 
than the required um, or the corresponding probabilities are here 0.16 to 0.14 you can see it right here 0.16 to 0.14 now we can then compute this part now to get this this side you multiply these two you say x times px that means x is right here times px so you can see that 1 times 0.16 will also give us 0.16 2 times 0.22 give us 0.44 3 times 0.28 give us 0.84 and so on when you finish your atom you get this number here okay now here says x squared this is x right here you say x squared that means you have to square all this in here so x squared one square means one times one is one two squared means two times two is four three squared means three times three is nine and so on and so forth okay now this part you don't add you just need this part to get this part this is the part that you will add okay so it says x squared times px that means this this is ps right here so this times ps so 1 times 0.16 give us 0.16 4 times 0.22 give us 0.88 9 times 0.28 give us 2.54 and so on and so on and then at the end you add it here see so this is your sum of x squared times px right here this is your sum of x times px and the mean is given by the sum of x times px which is 2.98 right here so you can see why this is called the shortcut method once you finish the table you already have your answer for the mean right there because this is the sum of this side represents the sum of x times px right here which is sum of that so you find the mean okay now for to find the variance we're gonna need this the formula for the variance is sum of x squared times px minus mean squared now this part sum of x squared times px is excuse me um is right here 10.26 so put it uh, plug, uh, plug it inside here to so get 10.26 now we already have our mean here. See mean square. We already have our mean as 2.94. So that the mean square becomes 2.94 squared. See? So now we can now plug this into our calculator to get the variance. So you have 10.26. 10 10.26 minus. So, so to get this part, put it in a parenthesis. 2.94 then square it because it says squared excuse me no, not squared so this is symbol that you use for square right here you can see right there right there square if press it and that give us point one point six one six it's right there okay now standard deviation is the square root of variance, I mean, the square root of this answer. So we have our second function. See, this is the square root sign right here. That's right here. See, under, like this. Press it. Excuse me, my mistake. Second function, the square root of, you can see the symbol is now out. It's out. Hope you can see it. See? Uh, it's right here. Now I put 1.616. 616. And that gives you the answer right away. Press the enter key. 1.27. Right there. Let's see 1.27 right here. So we have answered the question. Uh, we we'll find the mean, we we'll find the variance, and we we'll find the standard deviation. So everything just worked out because we first of all prepared the table of values. Okay, now theory is. I always believe that theory is practice. If you can't use it, why waste your time studying it? And so let us let me show you how you can use this, the mean and standard deviation of a probability distribution in real to, to deal with real life you know problems. Let's look at the first one. 
right? One good example. Say that a bank president feels uh, that each savings account customer has, on average, three credit cards. So the following um, distribution represents the number of credit cards each people own. So number of credit card X, which is zero, no credit card, 18% um, of the customers who have savings account has no credit card. So one, one person, one credit card, they say this is the probability, two credit cards, this, and so on and so forth, okay? He said, find the mean, variance, and the standard deviation. Then is the president correct? Now, because this is a sample, we, we have to do the calculations to see if this bank president is correct, that each savings account customer, us, on average, has three credit cards, okay? First of all, we're going to use the shortcut method. We put this on the table in this form, okay? So you can see um, this part here, excuse me, mistake. Number of credit card is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see it right here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's our x. The probability, 0 0.18, 0 0.44, all the way to 0 0.03, you can see it right here. This thing is to find the x times px. I mean, uh, this times that. So 0 times 0 0.18 is 0. 1 times 0 0.44 is this. Uh, 2 times 0 0.27 is 0 0.54. 3 times 0 0.08 is 0 0.24. Uh, 4 times 0 0.03 is 0 0.12. And when you add them, it's give 1.34. Now, next, we get the x squared. That means we're going to square all the x's. 0 square is 0. 1 square means 1 times 1 is 1. 2 square means 2 times 2 is 4. 3 square means 3 times 3 is 9. And 4 square means 4 times 4 is 16. Okay? This side we don't add because you just need it to get only this side. So this one says x squared times px. That means you're multiplying this with this. So that means 0 times 0 0.18 is 0. 1 times 0.44 is 0.44. 4 times 0.27 is 1.08. 9 times uh, 0.08 is 0.72. And 16 times uh, 0 0.03 is uh, 0.48. You can always verify this using your calculator. And when you add this, you get 2.17. So we are now ready to answer the equation. The equation says to find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation. Remember, I'm sure you remember that the mean means uh, average. So mean is sum of x times px. This is the part that represents, this is x times px. This is the part that represents the sum of x times px. That means 1.34. So sum of x times px is 1.34. To find the variance, we need this. So because it says x squared times px. So variance is sum of x squared times px and as mean squared. So let's get this part which is uh, right here, 2.72. So you, so you just pick it up from here and use it to replace this uh, here, so 2.72. Then minus mean squared. Our mean is um, 1.34 squared. I mean, it's 1.34 squared. Again, this time you put it on the calculator. So you have 2.72, okay, 2.72 uh, minus, put in parenthesis, 1.34, okay, 3.4, okay, squ squared. See the square symbol here again? It's right here. I'll give us 0.92. Uh, 0.96, I think it's a typo, it's a typo, which gives us 1, sorry, 0.96 right here. So the standard deviation becomes uh, square root of variance, I mean square root of 0.96. Okay, second function, uh, square, so I have second function, I press second function because the square root sign is under, so to use the, the same that are under, you can press the second function. I put the square root sign is out. You can see the square root sign is out right here. Uh, 0 0.96, 0 0.92, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 0.95, 0 
is approximately one. So you just uh, approximately one. 0.95 is when you, when, when you round it up, you get one. Now, now look at this. The question says, part B says, uh, is the present correct? Well, he's not because see, I mean, is 1.34. The president was claiming that each savings account customer has on average three credit card, but our average here is 1.34, which round up to one credit card. So the president is not his claim is not good right because on average each person has about one credit card. Okay. So that answered our question right there. I hope you enjoyed my lecture today. Um, please don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel so that you get informed when there's a new lecture. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.